We're now going to go through the use of the Test XP v V7 software for the 400 series force plate. You can see the front of the platform, the front left hand load cell is load cell 1 as labelled here, rear left hand load cell is load cell 2, rear right hand load cell is load cell 3 and front right hand load cell is load cell 4. When you start up the software with the 400 series force plate connected you'll notice a serial number up the top. Click on the start continuous data transfer and you'll see blue marks in the first four load cells. This indicates that all four load cells are communicating. You can then step onto the first load cell and channel 1 will move. Step onto the second load cell, channel 2 will move. Third load cell, channel 3. Fourth load cell, channel 4 will move. You can then move the position transducer and this will show up in channel 5. Once this is done you can click stop continuous data transfer. If the serial number or the blue indicators do not show up when you run the test XPV7 software you can follow the procedure outlined on the 400S force plate page of our website under instructional footage.